Hello, YouTube. We're here with the Delta Ray that belongs to my good friend Esteban. Throttle cuts off. Throttle. Differential thrust. It's got some power here. We're running it on 3S. And I'm just going to demonstrate the AS3X working here. It's trying to blow harder as I yaw the craft. Yaw the craft. You can hear the motor speed up. There's a nasty resonance on these plastic. We haven't glued them down tight yet. But then obviously the AS3X is working. Safe is on. Trying to right the craft here. Just keep these wires from coming loose. Okay. Trying to level the craft. So as you can see, the safe is still working, guys, because we're still using the factory board. And I'm going to show you how we accomplish that. This isn't anything that's too... Okay, I'm turning off AS3X right now. You can see what we use is these little devices here. It's called a uh, brushed to brushless signal converter. And what you do is you order these online. They come with a little box, little plastic container. It's got this instruction manual in it. This here's the part number, extreme-production.com. Or just do a search for this. It's an extreme brushed to brushless converter. Pause the thing. You can get that video real quick. Comes in a little package like this. Sorry, guys, it blew off the edge when I was doing that little demo. And all you do is you just get one of these for each um, each side and then your brush signal you have to chop the lead off of your motor and um, you plug it in there runs into the adapter I've got a little hot glue here it runs over here your ESC on both sides come back to a common point and then you power this off of uh, in this case we're using a 3S pack but you could use a 2S pack as well and then our balance lead plug is tapping pins one, two, and three. So we're actually taking a 2S feed to run the main receiver board because that's designed to run on 8.7 volts. So as you can see on this receiver, or on the, you can see our, our voltage is 7.7. .7. We have telemetry on there, which is pretty cool. Um, only bummer is we can't use the balance charge port. Um, so what we're gonna do is we'll, we'll actually use our telemetry for a voltage warning as opposed to depending on having a beeper. We usually use just like some very simple uh, voltage alarms so that we know when we're getting to low voltage condition. Or we go by timers. I usually just respect timers. Esteban likes to go to the um, to the beeps. 3.3 volts, usually 3.4 maybe. So anyway, it's otherwise going to be factory. I'm going to pause it. I'll show you what it looks like when it's all said and done. And by the way, if you're curious guys, I also have my Delta Ray up here. I have brushless 30 amp ESCs just like we did here. Um, but this one has crazy Hobby King motors. Um, I think he was running on his. These are uh, Emax um, MT2204 3200 kV motors. Throttle cuts on. So you can see right here. That's what that little thing looks like. Real nice. Like a quad motor. And then basically uh, we've got 30 amp ESCs. You need a BS. You need a BEC. So get the BECs because your BEC powers this little device, and you have one on each side. And actually, the lights are kind of cool. I have a bunch of lights on mine, of course, and I set up like a flapper on, spoiler on configuration. I've got retracts on mine. Um, uh, I installed a rudder. It doesn't come with a rudder by default. Don't do that, by the way. The rudder's a joke. It doesn't do anything. I have steerable nose gear, all sorts of stuff. But it was more of a project plane. I learned a ton about it. Um, since kind of not really flown it much, but I don't have safe and I would have loved having safe back in the day when I was learning how to fly So I'm gonna pause it. We'll show you what it looks like here in just a second Okay guys, we got everything kind of tucked in here We're gonna plug in the balance leads here first Which is gonna initiate the receiver make sure you get your transmitter on Okay, so it's once it's done initiating then the controls are set, and then you can plug in your battery for your ESCs. You'll listen to ching, ching, ching. Okay, you'll hear the chime indicating how many cells 
then you can go ahead and get your cap back on. <clears throat> Flip your plane over. Safe is not initiated yet because we haven't actually given it throttle. So looks like we're going to clear. So we'll go ahead and cut our throttle cut. There you go. So you hear that noise? That might be an ESC timing issue. So we'll just have to figure out on our ESC timing um, how to get that noise to stop. But as you can see, we still have safe. And let's just do a control surface test real quick. We've got roll, 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 elevator up, elevator down. Yaw, yaw, yaw. And obviously it's working because the thing wants to take off. So this thing is going to be sweet. And then the one control axis that is hard to demonstrate uh, is going to be the yaw control. So we'll just give it just a little teeny bit of throttle with the throttle cut on. Now it's off. Okay. Yep. As this wing dips, it's giving more throttle on my right hand. Less as it goes away. More as I pull down hard. As I pull down hard. It's resisting the yaw impact, which is what you want. Okay, throttles down, throttle cuts on. So there you have it, guys. That's how you can turn your crappy Delta Ray with not enough power. That's really good for a few months until the brushless motors suck. And you can turn it into a reliable, more exciting plane. We're going to have a flight video for you coming up soon. Delta Ray is nothing new. But, guys, it's not discontinued yet, for the record. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.